Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners, and in this video, we'll compare the Justify Content and Align Items properties in CSS Flexbox. For this example, I've set up a simple flex container that's 1000 pixels wide by 500 pixels high, and given it a grey background. Inside it, I've got a single child flex item with a width and height of 150 pixels. To begin with, Let's talk briefly about the main axis and the cross axis in CSS Flexbox. The main axis runs in the same direction as the parent flex container's flex direction property. By default, a flex container has a flex direction of row, which means that the main axis runs in the horizontal row direction. The cross axis is the opposite of the main axis. If the main axis runs in the horizontal row direction, the cross axis will run in the vertical column direction. If we gave our parent flex container a flex direction value of column, our main axis and cross axis would both change. The main axis always follows the flex direction and so would now run in the vertical column direction, while the cross axis is always perpendicular to the main axis, so would now run in the horizontal row direction. This can be a bit confusing, so if necessary, please rewatch this section until it makes sense. This is a really important concept to understand when working with justify content and align items. Justify content and align items are used to position flex items inside the parent flex container, and both properties are applied to the parent flex container itself. The difference is that justify content is used to position items along the main axis, while align items positions items along the cross axis. Both properties accept several values which allow us to control the positioning and layout of our child flex items inside the parent flex container. To keep things simple, in this video I'm only going to work with the center value for each property. I'll discuss the other values in more detail in future videos, so please keep an eye out for those. By default, when creating a flex container, Flex items are positioned in the top left corner. Let's begin by changing the position of our flex item along the main axis. We're working with the default flex direction of row, so the main axis runs in the horizontal row direction. To position items along the main axis, we need to use the justify content property. In our CSS, we'll target the parent flex container which in my example here is this div with a class of container. So we'll target container here in the CSS and we'll give it a justify content property with a value of center. As we can see in the browser, our flex item is now positioned in the horizontal center of the parent flex container, or in other words, the center of the main axis. Note how the item is still stuck to the top of the container. Its position on the cross axis, which runs perpendicular or opposite to the main axis, has not changed. Justify content only affects positioning along the main axis. Let's remove this justify content property for a moment by commenting it out, and instead change the position of our flex item along the cross axis. As we're working in the row direction, our cross axis runs perpendicular to this in the vertical column direction. To affect the positioning of items on the cross axis, we need to use the align items property. So let's target our parent container again, but this time give it an align items property with a value of center. As we can see in the browser, our flex item is now positioned in the vertical center of the parent flex container, or the center of the cross axis. Note how the item is still stuck to the left edge of the container, as its position on the main axis has not changed. 
align items only affects positioning along the cross axis. Although each property has a separate function, justify content and align items work together to position flex items inside the parent container. Let's add our justify content center property back into our CSS and take a look in the browser. As we can see, our flex item is now positioned dead center inside the parent container. This is because its position along both the main axis and the cross axis is now being affected and both properties are working side by side. As justify content only affects the main axis and align items only affects the cross axis, the two properties don't interfere with one another and our item can be positioned centrally in both directions. As I mentioned earlier, center is one of many different values available for the justify content and align items properties. I wanted to keep things simple in this video, but you can get much more creative with your layouts when combining these different values. We'll look at this in more detail in future videos. I think that just about covers the differences between justify content and align items. Just remember, understanding the direction of the main axis and cross axis is crucial for correct use of these two properties, as each one only works along a specific axis. If you change the flex direction to column, the main axis and cross axis will be switched around and these two properties will work in opposite directions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.